So, <clears throat> a little sound demo here on this mountain banjo that I put together, a Frank Prophet style. I used a plan that I got off uh, the internet, Blue Stem Strings. A uh, guy named Rudy runs it, or puts it up there for us. It's all free, most of it. Um, and it's wonderful. He's got a plan up there. I printed it off. Um, actually downloaded it onto a CD and had it printed. And I put up a slideshow video of the build. And what I did is I, uh, I just <clears throat> actually cut the plans right out and glued them right onto the wood, you know, and just used the, that as a template. And it saved me a lot of transferring hassles and stuff like that. So worked out nice. If you're interested in building one of these, put up a lot of slides. I made a lot of goof-ups, but there wasn't really a whole lot I found on YouTube uh, about these banjos um, as far as the details of the construction. So I thought I'd put it up there for somebody who might be interested in, in it. <clears throat> so, um, obviously nothing comes together in my workshop without many goof-ups. Uh, the plan calls for about an inch thick here, but I made it wider, uh, which caused for some difficulty in fit up. I mean, it's not a disaster, but you know, this should be cut out and fit into the neck where the neck just fits in here because this is too wide. But uh, my, my goal was to get a relatively loud instrument as I could possibly get. Um, I know these are. Um, have a low volume. One of the reasons I think is because it's a small pot, you know, and you've got a small skin head and all that kind of stuff. So, was trying to maximize volume. So, it's about three inches deep. Also, <clears throat> because of the difficulty of, you know, not making it to the plan, I had to put in some blocks to uh, put tension on the head. And uh, so, it creates an even more of a little resonating chamber in here. It's really loud. I stuff this uh, <clears throat> piece of linen in there to try to um, cut down on the overtone. Here, these two rings is maple, and there's a, a double ring that's glued here, and that's also maple. This is a cherry veneer strip covering up some imperfections when I put a screw hole in and came out the side here, that type of stuff, those kind of goof ups. Uh, the neck is solid walnut. <clears throat> I've got mechanical tuners, just leftover stuff that I had. I took this off of a fail banjo that I made, and um, put this together. So goat skin head um, and a cherry bridge. One thing if I was going to build another one of these I'd get a, a thin calf skin head. I think uh, the thinner the head the better the overtones, the better sound. So. You can hear that little buzzing. And that's just an imperfection in the bridge. And there's probably a little uh, <clears throat> area in the notch here where the string is hitting. It causes it to buzz like a sitar. Which I don't think is such a bad thing. Because you know, uh, it's kind of a droney instrument, you know. Obviously, <clears throat> no frets is a little different. And I put a Fraley scoop in it, a big one. And I'm glad I did. Uh, I don't think I'll ever build another banjo without a Fraley scoop. It just gives you the, so many more options.
homemade banjo, bring profits to them.